Doc test is a module in the Python standard library that enables you to test examples included in your doc strings. It enables you to basically execute documentation. You can embed interactive Python sessions in doc strings and doc test will extract them, run them and make sure they work as the documentation claims. If you include code examples in your doc strings, you really should run this doc test module to ensure that the examples don't break as the underlying code is changed. Let's see this in action. So here's a list based implementation of a stack. So let's use this stack in an interactive Python session. And the reason why we're doing this is that uh, these are going to be examples that we're going to include in a class level doc string. Okay, so let's create an instance of the stack and let's push a couple of um, integers onto the stack. That shows the push method. And then let's peek the top of the stack. Let's try the is empty method. And then let's display the size method result too. And then let's pop the values off the stack and then show that it's empty. All right, that's a pretty good uh, example. So let's copy paste this whole thing, except the import into our doc string. Boom. So that's going to be something we want to test with doc test. So how do we run that with doc test? So there's a couple of ways. Um, one way is to uh, run this module as a script and get doc test to uh, execute. So let's add uh, the doc test import. And then the main method um, for running the tests in doc test is test mod. So that should run the tests when we um, run the module as a script. So when we run stack, we should get no output if all the tests pass. So we can use the verbose, verbose mode option to check that doc test is running. Indeed, it is zero failed. Um, so there's no output unless you pass the verbose mode unless something failed it was the first way of running doc tests by importing doc tests in the code itself and then calling test mod. Another way to do it is by, if, say if we didn't want to import doc test somewhere, then we can run it at the module level by um, passing doc test to the dash M option of the Python interpreter. And that'll run all of the doc tests in module.py. And you can also integrate doc tests into other uh, test libraries like unit tests and PyTest. So next, let's see how we test tracebacks since we didn't show that in the first example. So let's say we want to test a method that's going to raise an exception. For example, in this implementation, if we try to pop an item from an empty stack, we'll get an exception. So let's add a doc test for that. So here we have an empty stack. Let's call pop. We get an exception. So we can copy this last part of the session to our doc test. And here what we want to do is remove some of this not very informative content. So for example, the username of my computer is in here. And this is not very portable. Uh, doc test actually won't fail on that because doc test does a good job of recognizing tracebacks and knowing that there is this not portable output. And as such, it's clever and it's not going to fail on that. But regardless, it's something that you should not really include in your examples because it's not adding any value for the user. Uh, so we can just add uh, an ellipsis. So let's just keep the header, the traceback header, and then the final exception type and this additional information about why the index error occurred. Okay, so that's how we test uh, exceptions. And we can run with the second option to show no output, so it passed. So in this video, we learned how to include interactive Python sessions as part of our documentation and test them using doc test. I hope this was useful and thanks for watching.